Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will learn about the supply or the blood supply or the arterial supply of the posterior compartment of the leg. This is by the perforating branches of the profunda femoris artery. The profunda femoris artery is itself a branch of the femoral artery which we have learned in the anterior compartment uh, blood supply. Right? So, uh, it the femoral artery gives a branch the it's a long the profunda femoris artery is the longest branch of the femoral artery and then the femoral the profunda femoris uh, artery also gives two more branches that is the lateral circumflex femoral artery and the medial circumflex femoral artery the profunda uh, the perforating branches of the profunda femoris artery uh, are four four in number the one two three and four uh, the first branch this one is its first branch it arises from the upper border of the pectineous muscle so uh, this one is our pectineous muscle right so arises from the upper border of the pectineous muscle Then uh, here we have our second branch and it arises from the lower border of the pectineous muscle. Mm, sorry. Border of right. Uh, then the second perforating branch also gives a nutrient artery. This is a nutrient artery to femur so this one is our uh, femur right so the first uh, perforating branch arises from the upper border of the pectineus muscle while the second one from the lower border of the pectineus muscle and the second perforating branch also gives a nutrient artery to the femur right then the third perforating branch the third perforating artery this one is the third and the third one arises from the uh, above the uh, adductor longus muscle so this one is the adductor longus muscle right so the third perforating branches arise from the uh, let me write it as rise near adductor longus muscle right then we have our fourth and the last perforating artery uh, and it ends or terminates in the vastus lateralis muscle ends in vasti lateralis right so the purple one is vasti lateralis right uh, and yes one more thing that uh, they also anastomose with each other to form the longitudinal anastomosis so that's all about the perforating branches of the profunda femoris artery. We will soon upload a video on the longitudinal anastomosis of the lower limb. Wait for the video and hope you like my uh, like my this video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment and share my video. Thank you so much.